this gonna work? Upside down, eh? There we go. Within this microphone. Okay, I'll hold it here. So, here we are. Get across here? I get across. Yeah. I'm in, uh, Maryland? It's Maryland. So, never, you know, never, never does anything just go according to plan, the way it's you expect it to. So, um, it's, well, let's start at the beginning. Frederick is a place, Frederick Square is a historic, you know what, there's a great historical map. I'm sorry, I, I haven't thought about how I was going to do this. Um, well, if you look at that building there, the city capital bank, you kind of the pattern on the eagle, around the eagle window. I'm going to go just read you guys that plaque that seems more valuable. I'll wait for that. So how are you? So I just got off a flight uh, into Washington, D.C. and um, landed in, got to Maryland, went to Frederick, which is this little area here. And it's very nice and old and bougie. And there's not a lot of places like that here. Um, there are, they're nice places, but the problem is that in 1812, the British supposedly destroyed a lot of the coast, including Washington, D.C., but they did not destroy Frederick. So now, now I can read you this thing about Frederick. You can see the streetcars here. So, the square corner at the intersection of Patrick and Market Streets has long been the commercial and financial heart of Frederick. It is here that the National Road meets several important north-south roads, National Road, that leads to Pennsylvania, Virginia, and Washington, D.C. All right, the square corner has witnessed both dramatic and ordinary events for over 250 years. British, Hessian, and Tory prisoners marched through the town during the Revolutionary War while the Union Confederate armies marched through as they headed to fateful collusions. Isn't it amazing that collusions, collisions, colli collisions, right. uh, he sounds by curious. Okay, so Hager and Frederick trolley car rumbles through the square corner in 1911. Uh, the electric railways made travel convenient. So, yeah, and then look at all these stone buildings. So why is it this place wasn't destroyed right here in Washington, D.C., when everything else, I mean, it's not really... So that's the other thing. DC is confusing if you think about it. Because you think Virginia. I, I don't know if you do, but I always, I always think Virginia. It's not. It's um, at least right here. It's like Delaware border to Baltimore, or Maryland. So Maryland is more the thing. All right. Now, enough of that. Let's check it out. Hi, Blades. What's up, Mystery Schooler? Fall of the White Rabbit says, "Boo! Oh, you scared me." Okay, so let's go walk over to South Market Street for a second. I'm going to be probably getting off this soon because I'm going to wait till the daylight tomorrow to do more stuff. But I figured it was worth mentioning that I was here um, and that it's safe, I guess. And, that, you know, like, when I'm just visiting. There's no reason. Just go back to sleep. Is that a nuclear... Really? Like, what? Can you see that? It's kind of weird place with new things. Louder, like a higher pitch than you're used to, too. I think so. It has that super techy smell of tobacco here. You set off the nuclear free thinking alarm. I know. I know. That's what it felt like. All right. Well, it's hard to think here because of the volume, but it's neat looking. All right. So, Maryland's awesome. Virginia's pretty sweet, too. Delaware, underrated. Very underrated. Great place. Great place. People definitely think that uh, I'm from California. I know I'm crazy. That's okay. Okay, fly. I mean, it's, it's, you get that, like, uh, you get that feeling also, like, this is the right 
time. It's like it's about to snow. It hasn't snowed yet. I mean, it snowed like a minute for a week or two ago, but it hasn't really been snowing. So it's crazy in November how warm it is on the East Coast right now. It's not supposed to be this warm. It's an anomaly. Um, yeah, California. You got that. Yeah, pretty clear. Um, there's plans. Is this Andreas or is this, dude? is this real life or are we dancing? You know, warm in Chicago too. Yeah, it's like windy, warm. It's not bad. Um, it worries me. It shouldn't be that warm yet, like or still or something. Oh, is that one of those old? Oh, it's cool. It's a Chrysler Pontiac. What is that? It's a Mustang. Is it? What do I know? Okay. Well. Um. Yeah, I mean, it's, I'm ha it's not I'm sure even what I can say. It's one you guys know how it's here. But it's like... Uh, how about wagon aisles, right? So, check out that. If you get on this aisle, you can see people used to park their horses and their wagons in these aisles. And there's one-way roads that are still converted from that here. The bricks have been made. I mean, a lot of these places are like brick breweries still have been retrograded into them, which is nice. Um, about like 13, they had to increase the law for the amount of breweries that they could have in um, Frank. Well, I think it'd be better if I get this in the daylight anyway, but. That shirt looks like 90 degrees in the shade. Yeah. 96 degrees in the shade. I mean, it's just like, this is not what I expected, and yet it's exactly what I should have expected. Like, you find all these places that have been. Like, look at this building right here. Like, it's beautiful, but it's crazy. Like, it's slanted. Can you see how slanted that is? Hmm. Look at that. That's crazy. Like, the buildings are, like, angled in on each other. Um, and it's a small road, but everything's been kind of retrofit and converted and gentrified. It's very clean looking and modern. But you'll see things like the stars on these buildings. Very common on these square buildings. You have stars from the 1800 time. And yeah, just to imagine that the Confederates walked through here, that the British walked through here, that uh, George Washington, you know, the whole thing. It's pretty nice. Gotta give him that celebrate yeah I know right so this is another I mean to be fair like even the even the guy in the uber was like scared to mention it but he was like so ridiculous and he was like you, but you guys probably want to get out of here before you know the 13th because Donald Duck's birthday is coming you guys know Donald Duck's birthday is the 13th right Friday the 13th is coming so if you get one thing out of this, remember that Donald Duck's birthday is Friday the 13th. I hope that guy gets it. It's gonna happen. You should be prepared. Yeah, you, your kid. He doesn't, he doesn't care. He will. So George Washington with his wood teeth and inability to fib. You guys wanna hear about George Washington? George Washington was a total liar. George Washington uh, had an affair, or several, let's see. He really liked this uh, married woman, a few years older than him, and uh, that didn't work out. So he ended up marrying this widow. Never had kids of his own with her, but um, he did have, uh, she had two kids that he raised and then they died when they were like 16 and 17 of various health issues. So, you know, he had a widowed uh, wife and he never really liked her that much. It sounds like it was mostly for, I mean, I don't know. It sounds like it was mostly for the class and status because she was so wealthy. He, he really increased his status by marrying Sally. Um, so Martha, right? Is it Ma Sally Pinkett and Martha? I think is the, is the girls. And then there's the black girl. So, so George Washington had a black, uh, mistress who was his bedfellow named uh, Venus and Venus was his slave. And supposedly George Washington's slave Venus and him had a kid, which is really weird because they think he had the mumps or it was sterile because he didn't have kids with his wife. 
but the fact that he may have had John Edwards, uh, I think is his name, the the son of Venus, and I mean the slave Venus. And, you know, they've, they've, they've tried to disprove it. They tried to say, like, oh, she couldn't have been his slave until, like, a year after the... Uh, I don't know. Pretty sure. But, you know, so that's fine. Um, didn't free that many people. I think that he had... When he died, he said after his wife died, free all the slaves they owned, which was only, like, a third of the slaves that they were in charge of. So there's that. Um... So George Washington's weird. He definitely was a liar. He definitely was a witch. I don't know about the, the wooden teeth. I think he had animal teeth, actually, was for the thing. It was mostly animal teeth, not not wooden teeth. Um, that's a weird story in and of itself. Cherry tree. Anyone have a metaphor for this cherry tree? That's a good one. I like that one where it's like, this guy's coming down the cherry tree, and then he's like, well, you know, he cut down the cherry tree, but fell on the latrine. And George Washington's dad beat him up to death or something. I don't know. Something like that. That's the story I remember. Alright. I'm going to get ready for this. I think I'm going to uh, expect that they're going to be here pretty soon. So this is JoJo's. This is the place with the tapas. This is the place I'm going. So I'm going to see Ian Crossland, Tim Poole and uh, a few of the friends and then we'll talk and I'll, I'll get back on the camera later but I just was preparing for that because I'm sure that they're going to be you know kind of that's going to take some time so I'll get back to you after that but yeah call that success peace out